kidding me? How am I supposed to shit in six ads? Figure it out. All right, I'm spinning. Grats, George. Samson, tainted Samson. Let's go. We'll take it. Frick, I won. Tainted Samson, let's go. Is it possible to take a shit without peeing? If you don't have any pee in you. Uh, Pardo Bio Samurai. Thank you for the sub. Brand new sub coming in. Love that shit. Coach payout. Yoge. I'm gonna come back and get that in a second. Hopefully. Sure, Midas is touch. A small rocker. What's going on, Alex? Hey, Sparkin. I have an outdoor toilet and I can shit alone and pee afterwards. Okay. Nice, I think. Swoop it, swoop it, swoop it. Meow. Told you I was going to get it. Whoop. What's up, Nefarious? Am I going to participate in the hunt for the ring? I'm going to be honest. I bought some collector boosters. I opened them off stream. I didn't hit shit. I watched about eight other box openings. They didn't hit shit. I heard my friend said that his buddy opened a case. Didn't even get a non-serialized ring. So, unless I'm just straight up given cards to open... I can't afford to buy any more collector booster boxes. Like, I can't afford them. They are ridiculously overpriced for what you get out of them. Unless you hit one of the, like, goodie cards. Only got one ring worth 200 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. How many did he open? I only saw him open two and he didn't get anything iron. <clears throat> but he had like 12 boxes. But he only opened like two of them when I was watching. And he got destroyed. The cards in it just aren't worth the price. And the market's crashing because everybody's opening the collector boxes. Like, I think the non-full art versions of cards are actually more expensive than some of the full art versions. Because there's less of them out there. Five boxes. <clears throat> I heard you're lucky to get one Nazgul a box. I'll open mine after I get home in like four months. Eight boxes. Damn, dude. Yikes. He's better off sticking to Pokemon at, at that point. 
shit. Some LGS probably already found the one ring and they're just not telling anybody. Spent 3.6k and I and got 1.8k. Yeah, and you know what? If boxes were regularly priced between two to 250 bucks, that wouldn't be that bad. But since they're double, everyone's getting ruined. Out of control. Charm of the Vampire fucks, bro. Time goes fast, Ashley. 500 per box, yeah. The price of a PlayStation 5 right now because there's gambling involved. Give me something good. Give me something good. I like Dreamcatcher. It's half a soul heart every floor. And I got a mod for it right now. I would be better off just buying a non-serialized Dwarven ring for like 200 bucks than buying another box and not getting one. A dude opened an entire case and didn't get one. Just give me the card. Just give me the single. I'll never own a serialized card. I've just come to terms with the fact that I'll never get one. I'm sick of chasing them. I wanted a numbered Praetor because, uh, from the last set, March of the Machines. But be, uh, they have like their own art. Like they have their own special art. But they're literally like $2,000 for one of them. It's fucked up. Serialized means numbered, so it'll be like one of 500, one of 700, etc. What's going on, Eric? How you doing, bud? If you open them on stream, Iron, I think maybe you can. It's going all right. My power went off last night, but other than that, doing pretty good. When's the Tainted Eden run? Whenever we random it. I don't get to pick what characters I play, all right? I let fate decide. What's going on, Panda? <laughs> you did before the bathroom. That's the burn run. The run that does not count. We do one burn run every single day to fix our program that we use because it's transparent until I burn a run. And it's been that way for the past 500 runs we've done, I think. <laughs> so, uh, it's nothing new. It's something we do every time. It's not like I'm just like, oh, that's the burn run this time. Now nah, the program's like, for some reason, it's transparent until I do the first roll of the day, and then it actually goes to where it's not transparent. I don't know why that is. It's like a bug with the program, but, or the website. Do I know how many times I've gotten Tainted Lost? Two or three times I've gotten Tainted Lazarus, Tainted Eden, Tainted Jacob, multiple times. We've been really lucky not getting Tainted Lost, I will say. I've had a lot of regular lost runs. A ton of regular. I think I had back-to-back -back regular, and then like three out of five of the runs were, were lost at one point. Nice. That's gonna be super fan, baby. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely deleted. Nice. Need some speed. Fuck yeah. Wax on, wax off, motherfucker. There's my ring. Yeah, okay. Did anything happen during the storm besides power outage? Like what? The Wicked Witch flew in and now we live in the land of Oz. Like, I don't... We went to sleep? Um, no, not really. Just went to sleep. Oz, like the, yeah, the prison show, exactly, not the Wizard of Oz. Prison. What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the dude in the wheelchair is just like rolling over my balls. Welcome to Oz, bitch. Hey, it's Devils. Thanks for the prime, dude. Devils, I didn't have internet all night last night. I wanted to play Magic so bad. I got all four Lord of the Rings decks. They're downstairs. I opened them up. I didn't really get anything in my uh, sampler packs. I did get one Mythic. A full art like that orb, the Palin fucker orb or whatever it's called. I think it's like a couple of bucks. Palantir. Yeah, that one. The Palin fucker. Did you, uh, hey, Devil, did you know that the the Cavern Horde dragon that we wanted, it, that's in the precon. That's in the, the Sauron precon. Because I was looking for it to buy a single of it, and then I realized it's in my deck. So it's not even in the main set, it's in the precons. It's only 16 bucks, but that's like half the cost of a deck. Tomb of Balin? Dan, do you know how lucky you got? Getting a dwarf ring? My buddy's friend opened up an entire case and didn't get a single ring. And you got an ancient tomb. I'm so jealous. Balin's tomb. It's a reskinned ancient tomb. Like League of Legends. You got a foil tomb of Balin? Wait, 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 you've only opened two packs? Oh my god, dude. He's the luckiest. I'm gonna let you open all my cards from now on. Yeah, is that good? It's the best box topper you can get. Out of all of the 30 different box toppers, that is the most expensive one you can get. I have regular ancient tombs. It was in a normal pack. Still good. When are you actually gonna play Magic, Dan, or do you just collect? He's just collecting that shit. Zambalis, 92 months, thank you. Appreciate it. I play Arena. Okay, well. Okay. Got to get this man in a commander game. You can politic in a commander game, Dan. You're like, hey, hey, buddy, if you don't counter this spell, then I won't attack you next turn, right? And then it gets around to your turn, and you're like, okay, I'm not going to attack you, but I'm going to win anyway <laughs> by doing this. Oh, I didn't break my word. 
I'm not going to attack you. I'm just going to win the game by comboing out. Moral of the story, never take a deal with Cobalt. I draft in person, but no constructed sweat. The thing is, Commander, you can just grab a pre-constructed deck and just play with that if you don't want to build your own. They make them 100, uh, 40 bucks for a 100 card deck. So fun. You all want to see my decks? Oh, did I unplug that webcam? I think I did. Uh, well, okay, let me see if I can move my camera without it exploding. Okay, it exploded. Well, just hold on, hold on. I hate this camera more than life itself. These are my debts. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, these are my magic cards that are in binders. There's more decks over there in the box still. There's my other pre-cons. I have a water cooler, but it hasn't had water in it since pre-COVID because I quit going out to get the jugs. And now I don't know if it's too dirty to hook a jug into. If it's gonna give me like mildew water or something. Uh, yeah, that's a step ladder with all my hoodies and onesies on it for quick access. That's my PlayStation 5 box. That's a box full of random shit over there. There's my Mandalorian shit. I've got uh, a Mandalorian helmet. More binders that are empty though. PlayStation 5 outer box. Magic the Gathering limited edition jersey to hang up on the wall one day. Ugh. What are you doing, step ladder? Uh, so, so the step ladder is so that I could change my light bulbs. I just haven't taken it out of the room since then. I got the FF16 bundle pack. It's the PlayStation itself isn't special. Um... I thought I was getting a physical copy of the game, and I'm unpacking my PlayStation, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, I'm like, where's my copy of the game? Digging at the bottom of the box. Pull out a slip of paper, dog. A slip of paper, and it's got a fucking code on it. Unbelievable. Where's my physical copy? I gotta go to GameStop to get a physical copy. Finally, a bedroom I can relate to. This is my stream room. My bedroom is, uh, cleaner. It's not that this room is dirty. I just have lots of stuff. And it's not, like, organized in a pleasing way to the eye. It's, like, organized chaos. I know where everything is, but it's not pretty. But I have easy access to everything. Just like your mom. There's a stopwatch in that claw game. Yeah, that's why I left it there. <laughs> I got an A+. Plus. Another baby? I think that's going to be conjoinage. I actually picked my room up. You, you know that futon over there in the corner? It was completely filled up with stuff. You couldn't even sit on it. And I recently cleared all of that off. <laughs> and there were piles of magic cards all over my desks. 
and I pick those up. I put, I sleeved them all. I put them in binders. And now I only have two stacks of magic cards on my desk. One is bulk rares, and the other are to sell one day. What's up, Letha? Why don't you take flip? Because I forgot about it. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I probably should have taken it, but it's a lot of work, that item, okay? I'm not trying to do a lot of work right now. How much would you say you've spent on Magic the Gathering cards? Anyway, um, it was really hot yesterday in the summer, and we went swimming in the pool outside, and it's like a little pool, um, but it was a lot of fun, you know, and Hunter had a great time. Um. <laughs> you want to know the truth? I've been sponsored by Magic two or three times on the channel, and I've probably broke even, considering that they've paid me to play, and also that I buy a lot of cards. So I've probably broke even on what they've paid me and what I've spent. Now I'm not gonna tell you how much they paid me, Anybody want to buy some magic cards? Look, y'all. I got all these magic cards for sale right here. All of these, I need to get rid of. All right. Like, there's some good stuff in here, though. Like, I got a smothering tithe in here. I've got a Kozilek. I got an ancient gold dragon. I'll buy them for one cent a piece. Yeah, fucking right. All those cards are at least a dollar or more. If I bought one, would you sign it? Yeah, with my blood. Magic's easy. The phases. Untap, upkeep, draw. Main phase, combat. Second main phase, in step. There's all your phases, done. Other than that, you play land, you tap the land for resources, you use those resources to play cards. If a card is instant, you can play it anytime. Otherwise, you have to play it during your main phase. Easy. Or, or if it has flash, I guess. Sigil of Baphomet. Matt, man, shut your fucking mouth. We're trying not to confuse people. If you play blue, nobody likes you. Yeah, that's, that's important. Now explain state-based actions. How about y'all try not to scare new players that are interested in a way? This is the fucking problem with magic, people. Oh, it's not that complex. Well, let me tell you about replying to triggers on the stack. <laughs> Split second, baby. Like, just relax. Just take it one step at a time. Pretty sure the boxes costing over a hundred is already scaring new players. Here's the thing, if you've got a printer, you've got a magic deck. <laughs> Just 3D print some cards for yourself. What are you doing? It's 1v1, it depends on what format you're playing. The format I play, it's four players, free for all. Hey, I'm not a magic ambassador. They should have made me a magic ambassador, damn it. Don't buy boosters to build decks if you're trying to be economical. You only want to open packs if you're drafting or if you want to gamble. 
Otherwise, you should be buying singles. A bootleg magic business. There's already a bunch of those on Etsy. You can get hot anime girl proxies for $8 a piece. Highway fucking robbery. Twitch just showed me a content warning for your stream. That's because they changed the way that streams are labeled. And Isaac is a mature rated game. So you have to accept it before you can watch. Missed a squeeze. Did you like Magic before they sponsored you? Yeah, I begged for a sponsorship. <laughs> what? I was like, please, sponsor my stream. Talk to my manager, please. When Arena first came out, they actually had me on the stage, the Magic stage at TwitchCon. And I got to play against Ashlyn Rose. Uh, back in the standard decks on MTG Arena. That was a lot of fun. Ashlyn. Ashlyn. What set did you start playing Magic? I played when I was a kid, and I quit for a long time. So I started playing during Ice Age and Mirage. And then I quit around Visions. Um, and then my buddy Chaos Gregor, who's been a mod in the channel, he's been subbed for like 10 plus years. Uh, he started sending me some boxes to open on stream because he works at like in, in like the magic world like at a magic shop basically and so i was opening these boxes not even knowing like not playing not even knowing what any of the cards were and then my buddy in real life josh he's like oh i used to love magic we should go play magic sometime so we found an lgs and we went up there and we started doing drafts and then we got into commander and then it was over so that was right around uh, the new Ravnica set when it came out. It's not new anymore, but... What was it? Guilds of Ravnica? Right before uh, War of the Spark. And I've been playing ever since then. Fucking Dan coming in here flexing on us. What's up, Artillery? Yo, Artillery did all of our channel design stuff. It's been years now. I'm probably due for an update at some point. But the info section, um, our starting screen that we use. He did that, that uh, Balls of Steel shirt where it was like, had the runes around it and like the devil Isaac skull on it where it said cobalt and runes around it. Pretty sweet. That was a sick shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts still. Wish. What is giving you a shield? My sigil of Baphomet. Trinket. Boom, boom. 
I wonder who the top gifter of the week is going to be this week. Last week it was a very competitive leaderboard. Do you think we will do another run after this or no? Uh, I'm not sure. I've got about an hour till I have to leave to pick my kid up. They started school late today, I think because of all the power outages. Normally I drop them off at like 9, but today I didn't drop them off till noon. So it's kind of a weird day. He had so much fun this weekend though. I'm hoping he doesn't want to go outside and play when he gets home because nothing's set up. And it's going to be too late. Unknown Sin gifted a sub to Marador. Wait, aren't you not sub yourself? You could have gifted yourself a sub. What are you doing? This guy. Maybe it is me. He's the number one right now. I don't need it. Okay, I'm gifting him a sub. This fucking guy. Think you could just go around and be selfless like that? Disgusts me. No one in here is selfless but me. Wait, it's not letting me purchase it. Ah oh, shit. Look at this. What is what's go what what the fuck? Hello? <laughs> okay. Well, uh. Oh no, you don't. Okay, Pager, you son of a bitch. Wait, wait, wait! It's letting me gift one to Pager? Yes! I still win! Paying it forward, baby. That's how we pay it forward. Jokes on you, Cobalt. Why is that? Oh, you're communicado? Okay. No big deal. I don't even know if we have a mod here to do that right now for you. Because we're in like some weird stream time that we normally don't even go into. Mod Limbo. Oh no, Curse of the Blind. Okay, it didn't fuck us too bad. I appreciate this weird stream, nice. Such a fast run, not bad. This character's always pretty fast. As long as you're into whacking it. I thought Dan would still be streaming. He was nuts. I like when Dan stops by though, it makes me feel good. That's my buddy right there. Dan played Brotato finally. He's played it before. He just didn't like it. He didn't like the graphics, I don't think. 
you loved FF16? Yeah, everybody loves it. Nobody wants to watch it. Nobody wants spoilers for it. So it kills your fucking viewership, but... It fun, for sure. I'd watch it, not like I have a PS5. I'm gonna be playing it later tonight, after we do some more Isaac. I'm like five hours in. I was gonna play some this morning, but we had a run queued up from yesterday still, from my power being out, and it really bugged me that I don't like having, like, stopping a run in the middle of it and then, like, coming back next stream for it. It's just fucking weird to me. I like to resolve it before I'm, de like, my stream is over. Barnes, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you, bud. Victory! Mecha Bellum. Uh, I've seen people playing it, but I haven't tried it. Because I didn't think it looked great. Yes, the order is cocking. Nice, Eric. Did you like Brutal Orchestra? Brutal Orchestra. I don't even remember Jesus Brutal Orchestra. So, which one was that? Oh, that's that weird game. Yeah, that game was fucking weird. I don't know if I like that. I forgot we even played that. What's up, Carisha? Smatonis, thanks for the 23 months.